here I have this front all together there's the scoop that was all right and there is a shot of mine that I fixed then I cleaned a lot of the front and right in here inside they had put two strips of velcro well when you stick it on the inside the glue is facing out the sun hit it and it was really gummed up I had a hard time cleaning that I used WD-40 in a rag I put WD-40 on it just keep working and working it with my finger and then I'd wipe it with the rag put more on do it again until I got it all off so that's all clean this side mirror was really bad I was gonna leave it go to winter and I saw, thought no everything else is coming out so great might as well fix it and you just pull it and it snaps on so it come right off when it did a piece broke off of it that they had glued on they had used some kind of glue and then they used uh, like jet glue uh, instant glue and what they did was they put it when they did it they got it on their fingers and they got their finger marks all over this and it's the glue then this was really scraped up it's bad shape and that has to be taken care of there's a little crack in there on the yellow part which I can kind of feel feel I'll maybe get that order a new one later but right now it's not hurting anything so I got this off what I'm going to do is take the inside out so I can work on this this I will put some instant glue on it just to hold it then on the inside seam there down in here when that piece is on I'll get the Dremel and a cutter and just notch it out and then I'll get my plastic welder and put some uh, new stuff in there plus off the rough up both sides real good and I'll put some screening on it uh, metal screen and that'll adhere that real good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna they got it all over the top they got stuff down here finger marks uh, from the glue down here oh what a mess but when I get done with it it'll look new they got a there's a crack out here across it that'll be fixed and I'm just gonna have to sand the whole thing there's no way you can fix this and then not paint it and I got some auto paint it's one can I got seems a little lighter and a little darker so what I'll do is I'll paint this with the light when I'm all done and ready to paint it hold it next to the bike if it needs a little darker then I can use a darker and just go over it real light and I think I can get it really close if it doesn't match perfect I ain't worried about it on the frame of the bike under the seat is the number for the paint where I could go to Honda and get it but I'm just gonna patch it up right now the best I can and be done with it so to fix this I started by gluing in this chunk that had broken off at this crack then I found that when I took the inner light out this peg coming out was broke off that one was broke off and here's the big one that I fixed and he had fixed one up here so it was solid I just redid this and what I did was I took one of those little metal balls uh, steel balls that have teeth on a dream and I went and I just started uh, going back and forth back and forth and I had it running slow so it would chew this up and it really chewed it up good and that's what I want and there was a little tab right down in there you can see where I put that little ball on it and chewed it where it's gray and that and then now what I'll do is I'll go in there take some of this metal screen cut it and I'll lay it right in there and then I'll melt it in with my uh, plastic welder then I might put plastic I have these strips I use and I put that over top and I'll probably just use plastic right on these two protrusions down in there that come out where it gets uh, it holds a light because there won't be a whole lot of tension on there so I think I can just use that plastic on that but then all the outside there was a place right here it went back into shape that was cracked on the bottom I didn't I just noticed but this will all then be set sanded uh, this looks like he got that glue on it and then got dirt on it 
and then where it was hit and scraped up. Like I said, this uh, bike w had been wrecked and they fixed it. And there you can see fingerprints and glue on it <laughs> from the instant glue that I got to get off. But that'll be completely sanded. Then this groove here, or that crack, that's glued nice, so that'll be sanded really good. And then I might go over it with a little bit of uh, putty to fill it in and make sure it blends in good. And then I'll paint it. I have it all back together really good now. I put screen in here where you can see where the black stuff is. And over here, there's a bad crack. And this crack, he had glued good, but I put screen there. Then I put these strips and melted them in there and just took my uh, welder and kept smearing it and smearing it back and forth and uh, laying it in there as I did it and I got all those done. I put plastic on these two little parts. I don't think they needed screen, but when I put the bolts or screws in there to hold the light in, I'm gonna have to just snug them up and that's it. They shouldn't be over tightened. And everything's good, it's really strong, so now I'm ready to work the outside. But one important thing you want to do is, since you have this all back together, you want to put your light down in there and make sure it fits. Because now is the time, if there's anything that doesn't fit, you can make it right. And I kept everything as flat as I could. It's real rough, but it'll be in the inside. It won't hurt. It won't even show. And there it is. The light's in there where it would go. I see it fits around here real good. Let me get it in there. Okay, so that's, there it is. And you can see it fits real nice. Everything's good. Uh, I can see the screw hole lines up. So that's, this is ready to go now. So now I can start this work and sand it. And right here, I've really got that seam that's nasty. And I'll probably just do it with sandpaper and get it down. And if there's a like a little crack in there, I can use some spot putty. Spot putty, you don't have a hardener with it. You just have get a tube of it. It's like you use the Bondo over something. You'll have little air holes or little you know edges. You take that spot putty and you pull it across there real hard and get it down in the crack. Let it dry and then wet sand it with light uh, sandpaper real fine. And this here, this will have to be fixed. I can sand that. That'll be on the bottom. So let me do this all sanded, prime it and paint it, and then see what it looks like. So as I decided to paint the uh, left casing for the rear view mirror, I was at the auto parts and I saw these two and they look like they really matched the uh, color of this Honda. But uh, they have the color number right on the frame of the bike, which I could go to Honda and get. I don't know if, they, if they'd sell like cans like this. I imagine they may be do it. Or do you have to buy a quart, a pint, whatever. You got And then you got to mix it up. I'm just going with this. I thought as long as it's close, I'm happy. You know, this is not a show bike. It's to ride. Well, when I go to paint it, what you want to do is, like I have this one lighter and this one darker, go with the light one first. You can always go over it with this. So I went with the lightest one, and I uh, primed it well. I fixed the cracks. I was showing that. I fixed all the cracks. Use spot putty, uh, or spot the stuff for in the cracks, and I went over it about three times, wet sanded it. Use this light, then clear coated it, because it looked pretty close. This actually looked a little bit darker. In some ways you look at it, the, the paint makes it look like this. Now being a metallic paint, one thing you want to do is when you use metallic paint, you really shake this up good, because you have all them little uh, glitter things in there. You want to really shake it a long time and get it really mixed thoroughly. Then when you spray it, you put kind of like a light to medium coat on but then after that you know you just wait a little bit I just waited a few minutes hit it again and I, I put a nice wet coat on because this as you put more layers on it builds up that metallic and then you'll see it finally getting like what your bike is so I put like a medium coat on then I put two nice wet coats on watch you don't run it and uh, 
I put then uh, the two wet ones on. And here's the finished product. After fixing all the plastic with my plastic welder, right there it is. In person, you can see this is a little darker than the original bike, but I'm glad I went with the light. I kept thinking I'd hold the, the two up there and I asked uh, Lois and I asked a friend up the road to come down, was talking, what do you think? And they both said the darker looked like it would go with it. Well, this is a lighter and it's actually come out darker, a little darker, but hey, it looks great. And there's a little crack inside here, but I'm not worried about it. I don't want to put super glue on that because if you do, it really like gets white when it dries, you know, on plastic, it would really show up. Here, it looks a little better. And uh, I think, I think it really come out good. And then one other thing I want to show is this just unsnaps and it hangs there. It has a strap to hold it. One other thing that's wrong underneath that I want to show, I'm going to fix. With my mirror popped off and just hanging there, that's why they have this strap on here to hold it. You could, they could have just had it to where you unplug the light and then it would, you know, uh, you could take it right off. And it's almost like if you took this and hung it there, if you really had to, you can pull this back like fold back mirrors. But who in the world wants to pop that off all the time? I mean, eventually it seems like something's gonna, you know, break in it or whatever. But my thing that I fixed, you can see down in there how rough it is, right down the bottom here and up on, there's some, some on the sides where I pieced that all back together. It doesn't hurt one bit, it's inside, you never even see it. But right here, is a rubber a piece of rubber tubing it was on there like big stuff I just pulled on it to come right apart and it's cracked it's all so old and it covers this joint I think it's to help keep water out so when you're riding the water's gonna go in there I think it's so it don't hit this and get it rusting so I can make one of those but what I'm gonna do is I took a piece of inner tube and this is from the Harley Davidson I had an old inner tube I been using rubber for parts so I cut another one but as you can see if I lay it there this one's longer I leave it longer because I am going to wrap that around there and overlap this I'm trying to do it with one hand I will uh, overlap it and then put some clamps on it till it dries. I have rubber glue like you know a whole can of it for uh, fixing tires and patching them and that. I can't find my tire patch kit for the the raspy thing that you rough this up so you, when you glue it the two ends together it'll stay and here I found this back there you get these at Harbor Freight and they're just like a little grater thing and you can cut pieces off of this and fold it and stick it in a hole where uh, maybe you stripped out your aluminum, you could use it in wood or anything. And then you put a screw in and it takes up the room, you know, to uh, set the bolt or the, yeah, bolt, screw, whatever, wood screw if you're using it in wood, whatever, it tightens it up. And you get a whole big pack of these, really cheap. But it's, it's rough, so it has little teeth so I can use it to scar this up when I put the glue together. Here I have the rubber wrapped around it and glued, and that glue should hold. I'm not going to put any pull ties on here because I really don't want to, if I would, I'd put them just a little snug, but I wouldn't put like one here in the middle and pull real tight. It might pull this apart or whatever, but uh, when you fix a, uh, a tube for a tire this glue really holds but like I said it needs roughed up and when I first got this rubber and cut it out of there I scrubbed it real good with soap and water because the inner part this is the inner part the shiny part that has like a powder on it so your glue's not going to stick so you scrub it and using this thing I showed Harbor Freight has them to fix holes bolt holes and stuff that are stripped 
you can bend it. I bent it there, and then I really could put it on the rubber and rough it up and get it really. I made like uh, crisscross on it. And you could use this. I was just thinking, I'm going to leave one of these out because if you have a couple pieces of plastic you want to glue up first, say they're kind of flat and you want them together, you could rough that and use it. You could use it on wood because uh, it'll scar. It's just like a grater. It's on the one side, it's really rough. And it worked perfect on this rubber to scar it up, you know, to glue it. So now if I get out and just put this back together right here. And I, as I said, if that don't match perfect, I'm not worried about it. I want to get it on the road. Get my cord in there. A little maneuvering. Snap it back in place. And there it is. Got come a couple little white things on it hit there. Look like what's that's gonna say? It ain't marked already, is it? But there it is. If it looks a little different than this, no big deal. You're out and around, everybody looks at it, they ain't even want to think about it. And uh, even the front fender there, if you can tell by the camera down here, that looks like it's been faded from the sun. But I'm not worried about it. I shined it up. It looks good. It looks good enough for me. I'm going to ride just the same. So I hope this video inspired you and showed you that a lot of that stuff you can just work with, see what you have in your shop, and this plastic stuff, you can repair it. Bumpers on the car, you get on YouTube and look at them, you can see how them guys uh, put it back together. My wife's cracked a couple places, I'm going to take it, the bumper off and I'm going to fix it and I have some fiberglass to put in the back, but I got to really rough it up. And there's a couple of them to show when they're done, if you would get the exact paint and paint it, you'd never know it. But I think with the, fi uh, they're kind of plastic bumpers, fiberglass, whatever they're made out of. That, I think, I believe you have to add an additive because they give and take and the paint has to give and take. Like this is hard plastic, you know, or fiberglass or, it's hard. It's not gonna give and take that much, but the bumpers do, like especially if you bump them, you'll crack the paint. So I think there's an additive you put it with it. And I did the windshield because down inside, he put that Velcro on there and he had the sticky side, of course, towards the sun. And that was, oh, I had a heck of a time. I used WD-40. I've had that goo off or whatever it is, goo gone, goo gone. It's supposed to remove. It was better with WD-40. I just kept wetting it and taking my finger and my fingernail and working, working, got it done. So, so far, it's looking good. So now I can start, I'm gonna pull that other mirror and look at that rubber around it. And I know it's gotta be bad because of the age. You know, like if I was detailing it, now I know these just pop off, I'd pop them off. I'd rub armor all on those uh, rubber parts. In fact, I think I'll pull this back off and coat it with armor all because it really softens it up and makes it nice. But it's getting there. Pretty soon I'll be able to ride. So have a good day.